Gender equality is a fundamental human right and is recognized as a critical factor underpinning both sustainable development, peace and prosperity. However, discriminatory gender norms and practices are persistent across the world, and this challenge is particularly acute within the maritime sector. We know that women play a significant role when it comes to processing and selling of fish. This is mostly done by women. But since a lot of this is in the informal sector, women are often not even accounted for nor recognized. We have the Agenda 2063, uh, uh, embodying the aspirations of the Africa we want, and all those touch on uh, the uh, on gender as well, the high priority that must be given to women and children and youth. However, I would like to draw attention to two other things, and that is the Maputo Protocol. Uh, the Protocol on the Rights of Women, which is an offshoot of the African Charter on Human Rights, the Maputo Protocol requires that women receive equal training, equal opportunities and access to education, equal remuneration for equal work as men. And these are the things that will underpin any maritime economy as well. For women to be able to reach their full potential in a career in maritime, the industry needs to work to ensure that the challenges that women currently face in this sector uh, are overcome. Gender is not only about women. We appreciate that. Gender is all inclusive. One of the ways is uh, simply to uh, formalize that sector and ECOWAS and member states to begin to uh, involve that informal part of the fishery sector in terms of data collection, in terms of programming, in terms of capacity and mainstreaming into the main parameters to measure progress in the area of the maritime sector or the blue economy in general.